Our next presenter is Anna Kalmikov, whose title is Three-Dimensional Sensor Arrays to Study Human Mini Hearts. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. Cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of death, affecting 17.7 .7 million people that die from it annually. In fact, in the US alone, there is a heart attack every 40 seconds, meaning that by, even by the end of this short talk, four to five people will be affected. And these numbers keep on growing as the pharmaceutical industry uses animal models for drug screening and testing. Mice, dogs, pigs fail to mimic the human heart. And even more so, each individual may respond to each drug differently, and the unfortunate outcomes can be lethal. Now, wouldn't it be ideal if we could test these drugs on the person's own heart without any repercussion? And in fact, research does provide for a way to do so indirectly. We can now take the patient's own cells using a minimally invasive procedure, a pinch of skin or a skin biopsy, and take these cells using chemical factors back in time to their embryonic state. Uh, now, just like in an embryo, these cells have a potential to become any cell type, including the heart cells called cardiomyocytes. We can then take these cardiomyocytes, and out of them, we can make patient-specific mini hearts. Now, for efficient drug testing, we need a functional output. In the body, the heart contracts synchronously to pump out blood, which is orchestrated by the electrical activity of the individual heart cells and this electrical activity propagation. If a drug may negatively affect this electrical activity propagation, it will cause asynchronous contractions, which is called arrhythmias, and that can take the person's life. Therefore, studying this electrical activity is crucial and will give us this valuable metric. However, conventional sensors, such as in the computer or your phone, are fabricated on two-dimensional chip surface. Now, if you take something that's by nature three-dimensional, like a mini cart, and interface it with the two-dimensional sensors you see on bottom left, you can only record from the apex of the tissue and only from a few sensors, and therefore you cannot gauge this electrical activity propagation. My research propose, proposes a use of three-dimensional sensor array that will self-roll around the mini cart, as you see in bottom middle, and therefore we're able to record from the total tissue and gauge this electrical activity propagation. And I was able to do just that, as you see on bottom right. This is a mini cart made out of human cells with a three-dimensional sensor around it that is constantly recording this electrical activity as shown by the red trust below. This heart on the chip platform will allow us for a patient-specific way to test the pharmaceuticals to avoid cardiac toxicity and these lethal arrhythmias, and therefore to save the lives of many. Thank you. <laughs>